I'm your host Christopher Sean Smith. Before we get started, I want you to click on the link below, subscribe, like it, leave a message. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any information you would like to reach out to us, reach us at a, a smithside at gmail.com, a smithside at gmail.com. Now, today's guest is going to be Mr. Darren C. Jaime, a Power Perspective TV show. Now, let's get to it. All right, we'd like to welcome to Something Good. We'd like to welcome Mr. Darren Jaime to a, a Power Perspective Live. Uh, welcome to the show, Darren. Hey, man, I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me and including me on this, man. I'm glad to talk about something good. That's right, brother. That's right, man. So, okay, introduce yourself to everyone uh, out in the world right now. Okay, yeah, I'm Darren Jaime. I'm the host of Power Perspectives Live. Uh, you can see it every second and fourth Thursday on 360WiseTV.com. Uh, uh, Power Perspectives Live is a national faith-based digital TV show. I'm the host of two other cable public television shows called Open and Bronx Net, uh, on BronxNet and then Perspectives. Uh, and one's an hour-long Good Morning show, other's a half-hour show. Uh, that deals with African-American issues. And then I'm the pastor of the People's Amy Zion Church uh, in Syracuse, New York. So that's who I am, and I'm glad to be here. That is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's a lot. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Hey, so where did this idea um, of uh, Power of uh, Perspective Live come from? So it was like a hybrid, right? Um, you mm -hmm. know, for me, and I know many people know I'm a journalist and I'm also a pastor. And I really felt like I wanted to do something journalistically in a spiritual realm. And so the Lord put it in my spirit to do this faith-based um, news information program. And I just stepped out. I'm, like I said, I've been in my same TV station for 25 years, um, been in the business for more than, uh, you know, 30 uh, and I've thought about like, what about stepping out on your own? And so in the midst of COVID, uh, you know, the Lord dropped it in my spirit, go ahead and start this digital show. And so it was a digital show that's aimed at being that journalist and also being uh, the pastor. So we can talk about spiritual things uh, and I can come from a journalistic perspective and I can tell, like I told, uh, you know, one of my guests last week, uh, go ahead and preach, sir. You know, so I yep. feel good about it that we can be able to, you know, have that voice and, and be able to share. How did you discover your gifts and talents? Well, you know, I, I understood early that, you know, God had called me to do media and, and work in media. And that was my gift and that was my talent. I went to school for it, uh, broadcast journalism. And I discovered that um, and I began to develop that little by, you know, little by little by little. The pastoring piece, that's another story all by itself. I didn't know that I was called to preach. Um, I knew that I was gifted in certain areas, but I didn't know preaching was gonna be one of them. As a matter of fact, I got my start in ministry um, by just driving the Sunday school bus. And I went from driving the Sunday school bus to a place where uh, the Sunday school teacher didn't show up. So I went from the bus driver to the teacher. And then after that, they started a class and then I started teaching. And I started recognizing that God had more for me um, than just what I was doing. And I wrestled with it for a long time. And then I decided to go into you know Christian ministry. Um, and the story gets told from there. I went as an assistant. I was served as a you know local minister, then for like six years an assistant pastor, and then finally I got my uh, I appointed to my first church where I stayed for five, and now in my other church where I'm at for the last fourteen years. And so you know I, I developed these gifts and talents throughout the years as God slowly slowly develops these things, and you start recognizing this is your purpose and this is your destiny, and all right, I think I'm pretty decent at it. And then God adds his glory to everything that we do. Um, and, and I'm able to say now, you know, I'm walking and I know what God has called me to and what God has purposed me for. So that's, that's just crazy. Cause I, I guess, cause I know the story. <laughs> and so it's yeah. great to hear it all over again. So, you know, but why this, why this show? Why this, why, why, why the power perspective live? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you asked that question. I think that it was important that we're in a day and a time where uh, media is very uh, subjective and it's not objective. And we can be swayed by the things that we see in media. And God has gifted me with a career in that. And so for me, it was an opportunity to bridge a gap 
to actually show journalistically uh, some things in terms of letting people know facts and bringing people up to speed on certain things. And then also being able to bring the word of God in there. And in my other platforms, secularly, you can't necessarily do that. And so this was a platform where I had no restriction. Um, nobody tells me what I can and what I can't do. Nobody tells me I've got that platform. And so it was important to find my own voice and to find a platform where I was able to do it. And interestingly enough, when I started, I started out with saying, I'm going to do this show. Um, and then I met this brother, I was introduced to this brother, uh, Robert Alexander, who is uh, the head of 360 Wise Media. And as I began to tell him about the history and this and that, he said, no, nah, brother, you need to come over here to 360 Wise uh, TV. We, we're getting ready to form our own channel. And uh, we want you to be the premier show, one of the premier shows on this channel. And you know, here it is, when you do what God tells you to do, he opens the door. And so you find out that it's really not about your plan, it's about his plan. And so when you start walking in the plan that God has for you, God already has provision laid up. And so all of a sudden the provision now happens. And so it was important for me to do this because I think the faith community needed to have a credible show um, that we could be objective, that you could talk faith, that we could talk a whole bunch of stuff um, and get information and then get inspiration, which is what I think people need in the time. So that's kind of like the background as to why I felt like I wanted to do this. And, you know, to God, to God be the glory, um, we, we've seen some great things happen over the course of the last month or so. Yeah, it's been wonderful. So are you still with BronxNet as well? You both don't? Oh, yeah. Know. You know, I'm still with BronxNet. Um, BronxNet has not, you know, rejected me because I decided to step out. Now, incidentally, my other show is called Perspectives, and right. that show I was doing uh, in, at BronxNet, and I still continue to do that. That's a 30-minute show that's dealing with issues that affect the African-American community. Um, so I still do Perspectives. Uh, but the Power Perspectives actually was a two-hour show that I actually did on iHeartRadio for about almost eight to ten years uh, for the iHeart Media uh, in Syracuse. So I used to have a two-hour show right on iHeart. Um, Steve Harvey, it's the same kind of station as Steve Harvey in the morning, Keith Sweat at night. And every Saturday for two hours, I had this call, show called Power Perspectives. And uh, this past January, we were all laid off as a part of the iHeart layoffs that were nationwide. And so uh, fortunately, I was able to take the name, add a little something to it. Uh, and so now it's called Power Perspectives Live because uh, every second and fourth Thursday live, you get to see it live and in color. Wow, that's, so that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, oh, cool. Okay, so we're going to, how can we um, support you and those out here in, in, uh, in media land or, or social media land, support what you're doing and support your show? Well, you know, there's a couple of ways. I mean, number one is I think you support it with viewership. And so uh, I've got a couple of different platforms that we watch uh, the show on. One is if people go to Power Perspectives Live on the Facebook page. Um, but to be honest with you, the real uh, nuts and bolts, we watch it on most, it's, it's aired on 360wisetv.com. Um, and then we show the Power Perspectives Live Facebook page. But if you can, um, like us on the Power Perspectives Live Facebook page. Um, you can like me on my Facebook page, Darren C. Jaime, um, and that's my professional page. Uh, my personal page, I'm already at 5,000, so I can't take anybody else. So I've been trying to get people to move over to that personal page. Um, IG, that's uh, DC Jaime 23, also Twitter, DC Jaime 23. Um, and then those who want to support financially, of course, um, we do the PayPal, we do uh, the give, uh, the gives, the ways to give, uh, Venmo, uh, and anybody can support the show. And if people want to find out about sponsorship, all they got to do is hit us up at the show. Uh, if they want to sponsor support and we'll be glad. I think that, um, it's important in this day and age to have support. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that people can, um, because if, if you're going to ever be what you're supposed to be, you can't do it by yourself. And so uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity for you asking a question about, you know, partnership and support uh, because it's definitely much needed in order to make this the show that we want it to be. Okay, so yeah. we're coming to one of the last questions here. Uh, it's a question that I'm always, uh, it, it started this show and um, my wife is the one that came up with it, with the, the question consistently and she still does it to today, no matter how many, I can have the worst day of my life. 
and I come home and she had a bad day and she just said, just tell me something good. So I want you to uh, tell us something good. Wow, wow, wow. Well, first of all, thanks be to God for your wife, right? She's, yeah. she's, got, she's got great insight. And I think that to be able to tell something good in this day and age shouldn't be taken for granted. So um, I'll tell you something good, that in spite of it all, God is still in control. Um, and what we have to know is that we're in this season where uh, it's a lot of uncertainty. We're in a season where you see people who are wearing masks. And uh, a lot of us have been wearing masks for a long time. Uh, we've been covering up some things. Uh, but in the spite of everything that we've been covering up, uh, God is still covering us to the place where he's allowing us grace and mercy uh, to get us through and navigate us through this season. And so the good is that you have to understand that it feels bad right now, but we're encouraged to know that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and who's called according to his purpose. And so what's good is, is that God is still good. And so I don't say that to be preachy. I say that to be real. I say that to be, you know, as authentic as I can be, because in bad times, we still have to know that we got a good God. And in bad seasons, we have to know that God is still good and he reigns. And so to tell somebody something good in this season would, would be, it would be my honor to tell somebody that God is still good and that we can still trust him that we can still believe in him and that we can still love him and we can still acknowledge him. And listen, he's going to direct our past and he's going to see us through. And so for me to tell you something good, just rejoice in the goodness of God because God is good all the time. And it's not a cliche. It's not a cliche, um, but it's an everyday fact of life for those of us who love the Lord. And for those of us who are getting to know the Lord, guess what? When you get to know him and you get to make him a part of your life, you get to find out that he's good all the time. And it won't be a cliche. It will be something that's knitted to your heart. So that's my tell you something good, bro. Wow. Yeah, that's wonderful, man. That is no, you right on point. That's, you know, everybody so far has been hitting their perspective of that and that's what this show is about i gotta do this before we go i gotta say yes this is um devin franklin asked a question the other day and he, and he said who inspires you and i you know i never ever got a chance and people always asking me about mentors and things like that so everybody I'm letting you know this dude right here is the one that inspires me he inspired been inspired me for years where he he made sacrifices to, to encourage me to stand and step out on faith and I moved to New York in 1990 in the winter time. Didn't know nothing, didn't know what to do, but he, he, he led by example and he pushed me out there to say, just do it. And, and, it is, and he still continues to inspire me on a daily, daily basis with everything that he's doing. And I have to maintain that he holds me accountable even though he doesn't literally hold me accountable. <laughs> so yeah. I really appreciate you, man. I thank you for coming on something good. And uh, I love you, man. And I hope that you can much success with power, respect of live. And I want you, I, I just, I'm looking to, you guys log on to there, uh, donate. Uh, you guys are we're covering businesses. You guys put sponsorships out there uh, from something good, put sponsorships out there, reach out to them about doing commercial spots for this show. We really appreciate you for coming on and we thank you, my brother. I really do. Man, thank you. And I want to just tell you, man, you, you're awesome. Um, there's a lot of people who ask for advice and there's a lot of people who say, listen, can I, you know, what do I do? How do I do it? But I'll say, you know, publicly that you've taken advice, um, you've taken criticism, you've taken the hits um, and you've made something so powerful. And so I just want to encourage you to tell you to keep on going. I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for what I see you doing. I thank you for what I, what is about to happen because um, I'm watching you and I'm watching you grow. And when I'm watching you grow, I'm watching God at work. And so just know that I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Uh, blessings to you and the fam, man. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Love you. So we'd like to thank Mr. Darren Jaime for coming on uh, Something Good. And we hope that something was said that gives you to have power and perspective on your life. So if you want to be a part of Something Good, please reach out to us at smithside at gmail.com and we'd love to put the spotlight on you. Now, always remember, no matter how many bad things you've done, it's always time to do something good. God bless.